I already got Rachel's conversation out of the way. Okay, cool. Where yes, were, and, and, uh, I was just going to say we are recording, so. The, uh, oh, okay. So. Hey, y'all. Just having a conversation with my buddy Jeremiah. Um, I'm thinking Eddie may. That would be Devil Dog may join us here shortly. He may not. I don't know. But anyhow, I like having long conversations. You know, I just keep talking. But I thought y'all might like to sit in on the conversation. If not, that's fine too. You know, hey, we're just having a little fun. Um. Well, now that now that I'm recording, I'm not sure what I want to talk about. I was telling you about that camera. That's what I was telling you about. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, it's Sony, a, I think it's a Sony A fifty one hundred. I think is what it was. All right. Is that a uh, uh, like a what do they call it? A uh, is that a webcam or is that just a regular camera? No, it's just a regular camera. But like they, I, I've never owned one. But like I said, I've done the uh, I've looked up the reviews on it, looked up the specifications on it, and I mean, it's it's it was made seems to be everybody uses it for youtube because it's like i said it's the, the compact it's yeah. compact enough where you can almost put it in your pocket but not quite it's not like those little elf canon elves it's not that little it's bigger because it has it's, it's got powerful software in it. i mean it's got powerful lens in it and stuff like that so it's a little bit more bulky but it's not a dslr huge camera oh okay it's just, uh, yeah it's just it's, in, it's sort of in between it's big enough to just hold with one hand but they're not big enough that it's just, you know, it's not bulky and it's not too, it's right in the middle and it has powerful features on it. And from what I've read about, a lot of people say it's just tailor made for, for YouTube. So that's why I was recommending it to you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking about getting, I did get a 4K, um, a 4K webcam. Um, yeah, that's. And I'm thinking about getting another camera. I don't know if I'll get the same kind or. Something different, you know. I mean, I don't I know. I just think if you're going to get multiple cameras, it might be good to have one that's portable just in case. Yeah. Because you, you can always use them as your, you know, different views. Uh, yeah. But then, but if you ever wanted to just get up and go somewhere like you like to do, uh, go out of town or whatever, yeah. just take that other camera with you and you can shoot all day. Not a bad idea. Will it stream while you're, while you're shooting with it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, yep. you, you're supposed to be able to stream with a uh, uh, a uh, GoPro, but I don't know that mine. I mean, I don't oh, really? Know. Yeah, I think so. Now I don't know if well, mine's know my, new enough to do sorry. that. No, that's all right. You know, my learning curve with the with the GoPros, like I, I had a, I thought, okay, so when I first got into recording stuff, I was doing, you know, I remember when I was going to do it on the on my big truck. Yeah. When I, when I got a GoPro, I went out and bought one, just thought a GoPro was a GoPro. I thought they had GoPro, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. And I picked up the seven. It was the latest one. But I didn't know the difference between the black and the silver, which, of course, is a couple features in the battery coming out. Yeah. And that really kind of threw me off. So I don't know. If, I guess what I was trying to make the point is, is like, I don't know if the one you have to have the black edition to do that. I don't know because it seems like I said it, it's the more expensive of this whatever series it is because the battery comes out and has a couple extra features. So I don't know if it, it's I don't know. Like I said, I'm just thinking, brainstorming here that maybe yeah, it, it, you have to buy the black one to uh, the to be able to do the streaming. I don't know. That might not be a thing. I, but I do know it has extra features on it. I thought the black one was the less expensive of the two. A silver is, I thought. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, silver and black. I thought the silver was the least expensive. It the one be. I had was silver, and the battery would not come out. Oh, okay. Um, no. the uh, well, I just you know, I, I it seems like I've heard that you can stream with a with the GoPro, but I don't know how to do it. Um, I tried to link my GoPro to, but I you know I didn't. Apparently, I need to go through, and I couldn't find the right software. I didn't have a link for it, that type of thing. It, but uh, it does great for doing, you know, just what I do when I'm shooting videos. Um, you still got all the harnesses and stuff where you go out in public? And, and yeah, but, the, by the way, I do have a, one of those uh, chest 
uh, harness for you. Um, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, I don't use a whole lot of this stuff. I mainly just use HS harness and, uh, I throw it, I, I went and bought a, uh, tripod and I, I use the tripod I can hook up the tripod to either my phone or the, I mean, it's not an expensive tripod or anything, but I did hook up a tripod. Um, I can put either a phone or a, uh, GoPro on it. So, yeah, I had a, I had a tripod that I had for my, uh, my light. My, my, my ring light, I guess you could call it, a uh, little basic ring light to light up yeah. your face or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, ring it, I threw it away. So she threw I away your ring light? Well, no, I have the ring light. But well, what happened was the first week we had it, it has a, a little holder in the middle of the ring light for your phone. Oh. Um, but she broke the phone holder. That is in the middle of the ring light. So all I was using the ring light. Well, I took the ring light off of the tripod, and I was using it for my eBay items. Like I would light up my eBay items and just hold it with one hand, and then take my phone with the other hand, take a picture of the item, and it worked great. And so she thought that I would never need the tripod again because I just kind of hold it with my hand, and because you had to position it just right to get all the shadows to disappear. Sure. Anyway, so she thought I would never use the tripod again, so she just threw it away. I guess she didn't want to hold it in her closet anymore. Mm -hmm. so, but I've got I've got a new lighting system already on the way because if you watch my first video on YouTube, that's what I said. First off, is I noticed it was a little dark. When you go back and watch it, though, whatever it does when it posts it on YouTube, it seems like they adjusted it because it seems like it's a little brighter than what I was seeing on my screen. Yeah. I, you know, I've, I, I, I watch, sometimes I watch Think Media, and they've done some stuff on lighting, um, like three-point lighting and that type of thing. Um, and it looks, you know, uh, I, looks cool. I've thought about doing that, but they also get so in, in detail where they start talking about setting the lighting to match the camera, and that's just so technical. I don't know that I'd, uh, yeah. I'd understand any of that. I did order the umbrella lights and stuff, though. Did you? Yeah, I did. It wasn't expensive at all. I mean, I just bought a basic little system off of it. was just the two stands, I think, and one's a, well, it might be three stands. It's three stands, two white umbrellas, and a black umbrella, and all of them have lights in them, and I think that's all it was. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I just, just for something, because in my apartment, there's no, I mean, you have to sit in the living room to have any kind of light come through that back slide door. All the other rooms, they just have one window, and I mean, it just there's not enough light in there. Yeah. I even thought about putting LEDs in my in my apartment, and my wife nixed that idea. <laughs> the uh, well, around that, here, I've got a bunch of lights, but I don't know that any of them actually. You know, my main issue that I have a lot of times is when I'm looking at the screen. Um, the screen, you know, it reflects back on my glasses. Yes, the stink. That, that, that was the other problem I had the other day when I told you I wanted to get just a camera. Yeah. Because that was, it was doing the same thing on my screen. I, was, I hated it. Annoying. Well, I can't go through and switch over to, to, uh, one of them thing, contacts or anything because I ain't about to touch my eyes. I have enough issues with my eyes. I'm just a little touchy. See, that, that's the, 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 in your setup, you could take your screens and either shut them off and turn the one over on your right on or whatever, or turn the dimming, dim it, dim it all the way down yeah. to where it's over on your right hand side to where you can still see people and still see what's going on. Then you have your camera sitting right in front of you and it won't do that. Well, but that's what, that's what I'm trying to uh, play with anyway. Well, that makes sense, but I have a tendency to watch the screen. And so that would, um, as long as StreamYard has that bright white, well, wait a minute, they may have be a thing where I can, this may help a little bit. I think that does. I went through and just put the screen as, as a full screen, and it doesn't have that bright glaring light. It's not as bad, I don't think. But and for, a li for a live, I don't think it would be that big of a deal to have the glare, but if you're just recording something, you want it to look, I guess, professional. I guess that would... 
I would rather the screen not be there and just look at a camera. Yeah. Well, like that me. makes sense. Uh, I may end up doing something like that. Uh, of course, I'm the setup I'm, I'm going to have here, I'm, I'm thinking about having three monitors, maybe four. Although, if I do maybe. four... If I do four, I'll probably have to have two of them raised and just do some small monitors or something. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say, if you do four monitors, they're going to be a little higher off your desk because the stand is going to make it a little higher off your desk. I don't know if that would help or not, but I don't uh, know. I, I do know that in the lives, though, that my glasses, you know, and your glasses and stuff, they have reflections in them. I really don't know if there's really a whole lot you can do about that. I have a dark background behind you. Well, now that I think about it, it's not like I need, you know, my glasses when I'm just sitting here talking. Uh, if I was watching chat or something, I'd have to have them because I can't read that chat without them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind going without my glasses. I mean, everything's a little blurry, but that's okay. At least it doesn't have that reflection. People can at least tell that my eyes are open, you know, without my glasses. So, and I'm just well, I'm sure, like I said, I'm going to play with it and see what I can come up with. Because I'm, my OCD gets the best of me sometimes. I'm overlooking it right now because I don't want to invest just bunches of money yet. But, yeah, it's hard to, when you see that reflection, it's kind of annoying. Well, one thing I've been doing is I've been getting little things done here and there. <laughs> to uh you know i'm i'm anybody that gets into youtube with the expectation you know that it's going to pay for itself you know anytime soon anyhow yeah some for most folks i would think it would never you know it would it'll never pay for itself depending on what you spend money on you know um you know i on this computer system that i'm getting um, the computer, uh, tower is what, 12, 13, 14 is the tower is going to be about 1400. I spent, I think 150 on a, on an additional monitor. I may get another one less expensive than that. Uh, I'm, and I've got my old monitor from, you know, from my old computer. It'll work for a while probably. Um, and then. Uh, you know, it's, I bought a new keyboard and mouse set up. Um, I bought a new microphone. Now, this is over, you know, quite a, a little while. So, I'm not, uh, I'm not spending it all at one time. But it's stuff I'd like to have, you know. It, hopefully, when I get everything set up the way that I want to, it, I don't have to worry about getting another computer, I don't think. Yeah, I think that was gonna last you a while. Well, it's I tell you what, the one that I got, um the old one, it first came out in like May of two thousand four. So <laughs> it did. The, a uh, I I looked it up. I looked up the model number and it said it first it premiered or first came out in May of two thousand four. Now it has a That's pretty a decent sized hard hard drive so it must have been you know pretty good in its day but you know and i don't know how long i've had this computer it's, i remember when you bought it i don't um, a desktop yeah yeah i remember when you bought that i, I don't remember that you know I 2004 just, was a good season for my auburn tigers so let's just kind of put that in there okay um, but it anyway. was our only undefeated season. I had to put that in there. Really? Yep. Cool. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm just ready for another computer, and and I'll. Pro oh yeah, and I did buy that 4K, you know, uh, webcam, and I'm gonna buy another webcam. I think. Is there? Do you know if there's some kind of a little switch thing where I can switch between the two cameras on which one's showing? Or is that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's actually interfaces you can download on the, off, the, off them interwebs and uh, get a 
they could do that. Okay. Well, it's I'm, like the uh, the thing I'm not playing with now is the interface. Is I haven't fully gotten used to it. I'm not gonna get used to it for a minute, but it's uh, it's the uh, Voicey or something like that. It's called Voicey. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's just a, a interface that goes along with Streamyard uh, that can, you can connect it uh, on your computer screen, and it's a uh, basically a soundboard. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So I get to do certain things. You know, I like comedy. So having a serious conversation and you can add a little comedy in the middle of it, it, would, it, I, 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 it entertains me, so I guess that's what matters. That reminds me. Devil Dog likes using these these uh, sound effects, and it does add, yeah. it, it adds something to the thing. I've never been real crazy about sound effects. But the so sound effects are in the, the stream yard. No, he's got some kind of a program or boxers. I don't know how he does it, but I know Jonesy has like eight that he uses. But Devil well, Dog, I need to talk to him to see what he thinks the best way to do that is because I definitely need that. Yeah. Um. Well, he'll you know he'll he freely shares the information, so he'll be yeah, glad. I to, he would. Um. He'll be glad to. To uh, to uh, tell you what you know he uses and what he knows, I I would think. We we know talking about old stuff in your computer. Um, I had told my wife the other day. I said I know I have a webcam in this house. I bought one a couple years back, and she goes, "You did not buy that thing a couple years back." I said, "Yes, I really did. It was just like two, three years ago, maybe four at the most." And she said, "Jeremiah, that was like ten years ago." <laughs> Uh, I said, no, it wasn't. It wasn't telling you. So anyway, we finally find this thing. And it still looks really cool. And I went to read it. And it, I remember it was a high dollar webcam. I mean, I think I spent $150, $200 on it. And to me, that was a lot of money for a webcam. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, I can't remember what brand it was. It was a good name brand. But anyway, I read on the front of it. And it does a powerful 720p. Hey, 720p used to be the bomb. I know it. I know, but I'm just saying that's how old it was. And I looked it up, and I think it was from like 2008. Wow! So I was way off. <laughs> well, the uh, this one here will shoot, I think, in like 1080p, 4K, or I think it'll still do 720p as well. And so you definitely got an up to date one for sure. And uh, I'm I, I don't know if I'll shoot in 4K. The fact is. It seems like 4K would be awful hard to upload. I know it takes forever to, to upload 4K videos. Well, you know what that means, though? That means everybody's going to be able to see every little imperfection on your face. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I ain't got a pretty face anyhow. <laughs> so, hey, if you if they'd have caught me back when I was, you know, a youngin, I sure thought I had a pretty face. But... Uh-huh. Yeah, you were, you you were uh, you had some confidence back in the day. I did. Um, you know, in fact, you know how Jeremy was. You know, him and me, uh, we had two peas in a pod. We were. I mean, he was a younger version of me, but yeah. he was uh, he was he's a funny. He was funny, but he definitely, you know, definitely, definitely funny. <laughs> there wasn't a time that he didn't make me laugh. I mean. As soon as I would catch my breath, he'd be saying something so stupid, make me laugh. And that was his big thing, is just to make you laugh. Yeah. He's, and he uh, would, I mean, he literally was a, a uh, I'm telling you, if he would have applied himself, because he wasn't scared of anything, and he would have been a great comedian. I bet he would have. Because he could have got on stage, we wouldn't have scared him a bit. He could just, and when you're a comedian, you kind of have the free freedom to talk about just anything. Yeah. You know, uh, just because you're a comedian. Yeah. yeah, he would have been awesome. You know, I, you know, I, to this day, I, uh, I think, well, he'd be this, uh, this many. Right now, he'd be uh, 22 or 42 years old. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't seem like that long ago. You know, he passed, but you know, I 
I guess it just still seems kind of fresh to me. But I know it's, you know, getting further and further. I'm pretty sure he was 26 when he passed. Um, yeah. Anyhow, you know, he'd have been, uh, I think he'd enjoyed doing to YouTube. But anyhow, I'm, I'm, I am looking at getting, uh, like I said, a couple different, you know, webcams so that I can, you know, change up the, the angle or whatever. Of course, I don't know about getting, I may have to get me a background or do, you know, try to work on getting, uh, work on getting this, this whole area over here really needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And, uh, who knows? Well, that. for your, for your setup, you know, I mean, honestly, if you don't, if you don't really, if you're not real picky about it being a perfect back, I mean, about being a specific background, Yeah. I mean, you can buy a background with a stand that's about like eight by six or six by six, whatever. But a stand with it and everything that just sits right behind you, you can buy them off Amazon all day for fifty to eighty dollars. That ain't bad. No, oh, and that's for the whole background and the stand. I mean, it would be ideal for your your setup there. I mean, I may end up doing something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do because they have like brick walls and like the the common ones are like brick walls. You know, fancy like old weathered wood. It looks like weathered wood. Yeah. Um, you know, stuff like that. I mean, but it looks fancy. I mean, it just if you didn't care about just choosing a uh, the one that they had on there already, it just gets more expensive when you ask for a custom one. Yeah. I'm thinking. About, I thought about going down to the lake and uh, just taking a picture and using that as one of my backgrounds. What are you gonna put it on though? Well, I mean, do the do the thing where you use um, set the stream yard door to the background. I mean, I know it it, it doesn't do a great job. Uh, I think it works better when you use you know when you use a different browser than Firefox. I don't think Firefox does uh, works with green screen. But I was on Google the other night and it it didn't it worked okay. It was just I mean I, I would give it like a Six and a half, seven rating. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is it, it works better if you have a green screen. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so if you had a green screen on there and then you used um, that, it's supposed to be a whole lot more effective. Oh, well, if I'm going to do a green screen, I'm just going to get a custom background and be done with it. Makes sense. Um, I mean, you know what look really cool is if you took, uh, took your... Uh, background from the good cop bad dog thing and that one made with that that would be cool tell you what let me yeah. try one more time to add see if if devil dog is is uh on or up he may he probably gonna be asleep That dog may not be up. Well, apparently he ain't up yet. Or maybe he's out doing something. Who knows? Or he may not even want to talk to me. I don't know. That ain't never been the case before. But I can see why you know, it could be. Who did those avatars on that setup? Um, the avatars? Yeah, or whatever you call it. The, the, the cartoon character. Oh, that was by Rich from Canadian Fish and Musician. Oh, okay. I think he's got a couple of channels. He's good people. You know, we get, you know, we hang out. I hang out, and he does too. A lot of times with folks that are up in Canada. Had somebody thought I was a Canadian. Oh boy. I don't know yeah, how. A little, a little further south. Yeah, I don't know how they could have got my accent confused with, with being a Canadian. <laughs> but no, no, no. I don't either. But it, that's that's sure enough what they said. But that'd be a pretty cool background though. I mean I don't know if you could use it for just I guess you just have to use it for just that show, but so that might not be a good idea. But I don't know. They just look like I mean it's a pretty cool logo. Yeah. 
That reminds me that that background that that uh, that you were using on my birthday wow. uh, yep. of that long road. That would have that probably would have been a really good um, background to use for my my uh, show, the long run. Oh yeah, and that, that was from my truck, my big truck. That was me. I just snapped a photo. Well, that's a good looking photo. Because you can see the nose of my truck on it, just barely. Yeah. I may have to see if I can't get you to send that to me sometime. If you don't mind yeah, me I got using it. it. I got it on my phone, actually. I'll send it to you. Thank you. Um, can you uh, send it? Well, any way you send it to my email? Yeah, I can send it to your email. Okay, because phone, it's hard for me to convert from one thing to another. I just don't have that much technology. Uh, Which email do I send it to? Because you have multiples. Just as far as I know, the only one I know of that I use is beltloop29 at AOL.com. Oh, that's the only one I got. Okay. Okay. That's, that's typical. You use that for all the stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. The, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't really check it very often unless I'm looking for something. But, you know, I've gone months and months and months with not even looking at it. At one time, I think, I don't know how many thousands of emails I had on there. But, and I don't want to delete anything important. Of course, how, could, how important could it be if I'm not watching and not looking at it? I don't know. Yeah, so the name of your channel is just Bellloop29. You don't call it, that, that's just what the name of it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got, I actually have like four channels. Um, yeah, I, know. I was just thinking about, I mean, I'm going to sit down here pretty soon and make that video. Well, you know, I, I really don't do anything on the other channels anymore. Um, even though I've got somewhere between 30 and 50 subscribers on them, I, I probably ought to. But I just started putting everything on one channel. I was worried at one point about the algorithm and, and, whether or not it got distracted by all these different things. Um, so I tried to focus on, you know, I guess, you know, from a YouTube perspective, they're looking at it like, you know, well, this person does animals. So we'll try to show all, you know, their animals to uh, everybody. And we've got a group that watches animals. And then uh, this group watches cooking. Well, people watch a lot of different things. So, anyhow. And Nicole is just being so sweet. She's just laying down sleeping. I think she's yeah, sleeping. She's, she's tired of you. Well, if she's tired of me, she'd probably be <laughs> trying to get away. Tammy didn't have enough time this morning to take her out and play with her much. So. Yeah. Well. Right now, Bella's outside, Otis is inside, and, and uh, Nicole is inside, too. So, Devil Dog was saying, had a little short on there, talking about pod of the other dog or something. Talking about what? Oh, hey, I don't know. I know that he's, uh, they are puppyless now. I mean, they still have Scully, but Scully's going to uh, be, uh, Scully's going to be transported uh, over to Drunken Chef Barbecue. Um, yeah. Here. I thought they were saying bye to some, some dog, and I was like, well, maybe he found a way to get it over there. That was probably DJ, or it could be Scully. I'll have to go take a look. I, I watch a lot of his videos when I get a chance, and, and there's a couple more I really need to get to and watch. Um, I, these days, though, I don't spend enough time watching videos or um Truthfully, I've been, well, I'm not doing and hopping into as many live streams, that type of thing. Um, I'm trying to keep from getting burnt out. The, uh, burnt out on what? Well, you know, all I do is YouTube and work. So, oh, yeah. you know, I do have some conversations sometimes, like talking with you or Devil Dog, sometimes Tammy, although Tammy usually... Well, I don't know what it is about conversating with Tammy, but, you know, 
she usually don't talk about the same things I want to talk about. At least when I'm talking with you, sometimes we talk about stuff you want to talk about. Sometimes we talk about stuff I want to talk about. And sometimes we talk about stuff we both want to talk about. And so with Tammy, I, I do listen. And I usually ain't got a whole lot to say because she don't want to hear most of what I want to talk about. Well, as much money as you're going to be sinking into that over the over the course of some time, I mean, you're going to... You're not going to give that up at any point, are you? I'm not planning on it. Well, see, here's the thing. Tammy don't mind me spending a little bit of money on, on this type of thing. Because, you know, she knows that most, I spend a lot of money on other folks. Um, I really do. Um, I, get, I agree. And uh, so I try, I see somebody in need or somebody needs help. I try to help them. Um, now, I can't always spend a lot. Uh, as much as I'd like to to help other folks. I mean, the, uh, it just, you know, I ain't got a lot, but, you know, so, and I don't spend much money on myself typically. Um, I did spend a pretty good penny on my TV, but even then I caught it, you know, on sale or clearance. And so it was, you know, about half or a third of what it would have been. Um, they just happened to have it on. Uh, they were moving on to the next models over there, at Cowboys, and I caught it right as right as they put it on clearance. Um, my computer. I'm doing this in a uh, kind of a piecemeal thing, you know, getting paying a little bit here and a little bit there. And so, Tammy, don't mind me spending money because, you know, um, well, I guess she knows I don't tend to spend a lot of money on myself, so. Oh, anyhow, so she's okay with it. Um, um, but this is something I enjoy doing. I enjoy sitting down, talking. I enjoy playing, figuring out, you know, what kind of video somebody might like. Or, you know, I did a video. I've done two videos with me cutting the grass. Crazy. You know, you know what I need to do, I don't know if it would work or not, but you know how much you've been trying to get me to cook on, cook on camera? Well... You need to share your knowledge is what you need to do. I know, but what I'm trying to say, though, is, is like what I'm willing to do, because I can't, I can't get into that right now. I mean, I'm eventually going to try to do that, but uh, what I was saying is because you like to always try to find videos to make or whatever, I could just, uh, for right now, I could make something, bring it to you. You could do a video live with a review of the food, and then, I'll put, then you can put my recipe up there. Yeah, we could do that. That'd be awesome. I get to eat your food all the time, and that's a win-win right there, brother. Yeah, well, I don't know, that'd be pretty funny. You can, but you have you have to be uh, in agreement to uh, say it was horrible if it was horrible. Well, I will. And then, then you have to give a scale. Then I want a scale from like one to ten. No, I use a belt loop twenty-nine scale. The twenty-nine. Oh, what is top. that? Twenty-nine is top. Oh, 29 stops. Okay. All right. That'll work. That'll, you obviously, that works, too. You obviously hadn't been watching any of my ice cream, ice cream reviews. No, I haven't watched the ice cream reviews, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, or my nutty buddy, you know, review. Oh, <laughs> I, I haven't watched any of your reviews, so I had to be completely I, honest. I did a review. That's okay. I, you know, I, it don't hurt my feelings. Um, people have lives. You got, I know you got... You work, what, 70, 80 hours a week or something like that, 60, 70, 80? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Between 70 and 80 every week. Yeah. So it ain't like, you know, it ain't like you got time to do a whole lot anyhow. So and it's amazing to me that working that many hours, you're still going to be able to do a, po a podcast and and upload videos too. Yeah. The video thing, I'm telling you, I, until you push me to do it, I'm – I'm so I'm more excited about like I want to get I want to record it and make a good product or whatever, but I'm more excited about doing the editing part. You'd be the first person I know that likes doing editing. The, I uh, do, I do, I like that. I, I like I like the task of trying to make it look as good as I can make it look. Well, um, I will say this about editing: it can be fun. Um, I did a video, although. What's, 
I even did one video where I was create, making the, the, I did a, I, I made a video that was how to make a, uh, a raised bed um, for my pepper plants out front. And the problem, and I edited it, I had that thing down to a, a, a T. I can't tell you how many edits. I even paid attention to how long each shot was and make, just to make sure I had, you know, they always say no, if you shouldn't have one continuous shot, you know, break it up into smaller. I had it, man, I, I can't tell you how many hours I have worked on editing it. And somehow it got deleted. I couldn't retrieve it. Um, never, uh -huh. ma never made it to the screen, but never made it to the YouTube. Anyhow, yeah. the uh, but editing, you know, I, I I did one video where I was harvesting okra, and uh, the just about the whole video is just clip, 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 clip. You know, uh, cutting off the okra. Um. That was that was kind of fun, I guess, to some degree. I like trying to figure out how to do new things. Like I had a video where I went through and uh, shot it. You know, it was in my truck, and so uh, for one shot, one or two shots, I reversed the image to where it looked like instead of me being on the right hand side of the truck or the left hand side of the truck, I was on the right hand, and then you know went back and forth between it. There are some fun things editing, I guess, with trying to figure out how to do how to do a uh, how to do certain things where you're editing. Wait a minute, my light over here is going kind of wonky. Let me go through and cut unscrew this bulb so it'll quit. Uh, I really need to replace this bulb. But Get you a whole lighting setup for about fifty bucks. You'd be good. Well, I don't know which lighting setup to get, and so um, well, I'm, my, mine's going to come in very soon. You come over and look at it, and then it's only I only paid fifty bucks for it. Well, you know, if some one of these days, if you get a chance, you know, um, I wouldn't mind you helping me figure out which lighting to get. Um, my problem, at least to some degree, is I've got lights uh, in every which way, in every direction, it seems like. And so. But the umbrella is the key. Yeah, that makes sense. A soft, reflective light. Yeah, it's bright as hell, but that uh, but the umbrellas take the shadows out of it in every, in every direction. Yeah. You know, if you just have a light up there, you might get the shadows to disappear, but you'll still see that light bulb. Yeah, you know? and so that's that's what the that's what the umbrellas take care of. They get rid of all the shadows and from yeah. every direction. So, yeah. Well, uh, we've been have mine set up. We've been <clears throat> conversating now for about a little over. <clears throat> excuse me, a little over thirty-eight minutes. Well, I've got another 42 minutes to get to where I'm delivering. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end the, end the uh, uh, video, and uh, okay. then uh, I'll end the video. I use this as like a premiere or something. I don't know. Chances are nobody what? will watch it I, as a premiere. I guess I could explain you know that to you as well. I do on my YouTube channel. I do what they call shorts, which is basically, you know, typically a less than a minute video that's shot in a, like a phone when you have your phone turned vertical, not the widescreen, but the vertical shot. Uh, most of mine are under 15 seconds. Um, I also do more of the long format, which is widescreen. And I do uh, live streams, which is when, you know, well, you know what a live stream is. Um, I also do, like, posts. And um, now, 
when you go to skit when you go to upload a video it's going to ask you um whether you want it public private or public private or un something else um you can schedule a video now because of the fact that i have memberships i'm required to and, and i you know i don't mind whatsoever but it means that i have to now when i upload something i have to give my members you know at least certain levels which to be fair i i, I put it for most most all levels but you know which i probably shouldn't because that is kind of contrary that's one of the reason why they pay for the more uh the more upscale or the more you know but typically you know i make it available for all members um anyhow the uh i need to start making it where it's just the levels that's supposed to be getting them. but i'm not hey i don't care about making money on it i just you know uh it's something that i i do to uh to make the con the terms of the of the membership thing. Anyhow, when I upload something, sometimes it goes straight to private, and I have to mark it available for members. Um, but once I've got it uploaded to membership, uh, to members only, then after a day or so, I'll go through and I'll schedule it to be available. Now, typically, when you schedule a video to be to go public, uh, where everybody can see it, um, a lot of times it'll ask you if you want to set it for Premiere. All that means is that it's going to run, and I missed a Premiere of my own. Um, it's going to run, and they're going to have like a chat room, like a live stream, but instead it's just a video running. You see what I'm saying? That allows, that allows you to go through and join in the conversation uh, in the chat um, while the video is playing, if that makes sense. And, and so that's what's known as a premiere. I usually have my longer videos set to, you know, premiere. I did a premiere on me riding my, my, my bike. I did a, I've done a few, two or three. I hadn't done a whole lot of them. I need to. Um, it's just taking advantage of one more thing that uh, one more thing that YouTube has to offer, if you know what I mean. And yep. I try to go through yep. and, and do all of it. Um, it's just well, I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, I didn't know. I don't know if it would be worth it or not, but on my channel, since it's sports related. You, but everybody on there knows that I'm a truck driver. Yeah. I've mentioned it several times. Um, do you think it would? Do you think anybody on there would care about me doing like a like a once a month video of me out here doing my job? It's been my experience, Jeremiah, that people, you know, you'll find some. There's going to be somebody out there that does like it. Um, I got another friend of mine. Uh, uh, Missouri outlaw Randy who does a lot of live streams from his truck uh, and he's a truck driver um, yep. I think that there is an audience people literally watch a video I had decent views on a video two different videos I did of me cutting the grass now I don't know what I'm they, saying like every I've had to stop, but what I'm saying though is putting it on that sports channel every now and then instead of being a you know just a just a kind of a special edition thing just because i've mentioned it so many times and everybody even asked me occasionally how are you doing on the road or whatever you know that kind of a thing well so, i mean like just a just a just a short video maybe something that i'm doing so they know in between me talking about auburn that this is what i do yeah i think that there's people that that like you that are interested in you and your life and I think that there are folks that would watch it, yes. Now, I don't think you'd have the, as everybody that is interested in Auburn and your channel may not watch yeah, it. But, to watch that. Yeah. Um, but then again, you could pick up some extra, you know, viewers from somebody that watches, you know, uh, a thing about truck driving. 
I mean, truck driving has has to pick up a what? You might even pick up some other view, viewers. Oh, I got you. Yeah, you know, because it's a different. See, some people, um, it's like I said when I was saying uh, about the reason why I set up so many different channels is to try and keep you know the content, um, or the the content or the subject matter of the content separate so that it would be easier for the algorithm to find i don't know if that's actually accurate or not i think that i've heard it said that you make one video for the viewer and make one video for yourself um i don't think that uh if you watched if you made a video was just something you thought you would enjoy doing um i don't think that hurts at all um i think if anything it might expand it may have the opportunity to expand uh, your audience, if that makes sense. And you may have some folks that just come on to see what it's like to drive a truck. I don't know. Yeah, never know. I do know that, you know, um, myself and a lot of my friends have done 24-hour lives, um, which that's kind of crazy. It, it wouldn't fit your... Uh, I wouldn't think it would fit your situation very well because, um, well, you work so many hours to begin with, and you have a, a I would think your sleep would be very valuable to you, um, more so than somebody who's, you know, only working 40 or even not, you know, not a retired or something like that. Um, so... I would think sleep would be at a premium for you. And it's kind of tough to rebound from that. The older you get, it seems like the harder it is to rebound from a lack of sleep. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you have to get your sleep, that's for sure. So, but um, I have, I think I got like 800 hours, between six and 800 hours from on mine. I hear it's pretty typical to have between 400 and 600 uh hours uh watched on a 24-hour live and so oh wow you know 24-hour live my goodness you know well see here's another thing about it um people if they want to get um monetized which is a lot of folks gold it's okay nikki she's streaming or something um, if they want to get monetized, and that's what a lot of folks focus on, um, I think they they try to do it, and they get frustrated. People get frustrated because, you know, they feel like they're working a lot. And I saw somebody who had like 15 videos that was upset because they didn't have more watch hours. When you only have 15 videos, it's kind of hard to get, you know, you know how many times people would have to, play that playlist uh, a yeah. lot but typically the more videos you have the easier it is to make like a master playlist the easier it is to get you know watch hours um because you do have people out there that want to help and they will play that playlist uh to help you um but i think that live streams um if if somebody's focusing on doing on getting watch hours, a lot of times a couple of things will help. Uh, you get a lot of watch hours from live streams typically, and you get um, you will get a lot of unseen uh, almost hours watch hours from doing you know making up a master playlist. If they've got to go through and go from one playlist to the next one, have you? Uh, then it's not as easy. And you, as a content creator, you want to make it as easy as possible for folks to help you. And so um, usually the way to do that is just to create a master playlist. Um, the And if you ever get a wild hair and you want to learn how to do that, you know, I'm sure you could figure it out. But um, all you have to do is go to the content area click on the box up top and then go to and add uh you know add to playlist 
create a new playlist and call it master playlist. Anyhow, um, but those are the things that help you with your with your watch hour premieres, uh, live streams, and playlists. Um, the thing is, if you're wanting to increase your subscriber base, you'll get some through your videos, and you'll get some through, um, you know. But what I have seen is typically um, people, uh, if well, if people want to increase their subscribers, I typically recommend, you know, to do shorts. You know, I could go out here and I, I can shoot seven, eight, ten shorts in a fairly short period of time. It's just a matter of waiting on one to upload to, you know, and I guess it depends on if you're waiting for just the exact one. Not every one of them is going to be a, suit, a huge hit, but you never know what's going to be a hit. Wyatt did a video of uh, but his pet possum petunia, you know, eating grapes, and that got over 130,000 views. Um, kind of hard to predict uh, what p folks are interested in. But um, shorts, though, are quick to make. You know, I think sometimes a catchy title may help as well. Um, but people that that watch shorts a lot of times from the shorts menu i think and i i could be wrong but they're i think they tend to be rather impulsive and sometimes it's just an impulse to hit that that subscribe button and so you know if you have a cute 10 15 second video on um, they're like well that was pretty good maybe they'll come out with another one and they may i think I think you get more subscribers typically from from shorts than you do. Uh, I think at least, and it's been my experience. You know, a lot of my my subscribers come from from shorts. Um, like I said, I tend to look at at the different aspects of everything. Now it can get confusing, I guess, and I guess I'm just rambling on. Now you're explaining it quite well. I actually was going to do a couple of shorts. Well, the thing is, with shorts, you know, they take virtually no time. But I think the key to, you know, having uh, to shorts is consistency, at least of uploading. And I think that YouTube is probably pushing shorts because they're competing, trying to compete with TikTok. Yeah. And, and so I think that... Uh, in order to do that, it kind of pushes the shorts. Um, I think that's Tammy again. Kind of hard to tell. You want to talk to her? I'm going to add her to the conversation. Hey, you on the phone? Hey, let me let me stop this uh, video, and uh, uh, we are with.